So this is a lab focusing on Armitage. So for this, we need to have at least our Kali and a Windows XP machine powered up. So once we have our Kali and Windows XP powered up, we're going to go ahead and get into our Armitage. So how we do that first is by setting up a database, msfdb initiate. And what should say is we already have a configured database, so we don't need to initialize a new database. And that's very common. Next, we're going to go ahead and open up Armitage. Now, Armitage is a GUI. And so there, there are some, some bugs with it. I did post some troubleshooting issues, guidelines, just in case you don't connect, for example. Make sure that Kali uh, update, upgrade, distribution upgrade, as well as doing some specific things to get Armitage fully functional and launching. So it's a web interface, so I'm going to go ahead and connect to it. Uh, there is not currently an RPC server running, so yes, I want to go ahead and start it. It should uh, slowly connect. If it doesn't, then visit the troubleshooting guide. And Armitage has loaded. And I already did a, a really quick scan of my network. I want to do another quick scan just to make sure. I'm going to navigate up to hosts. I'm going to do an in-map scan, which is going to just be an intent scan. I want to scan my network. And a big part of this is just be patient. I'm going to be targeting my Windows XP machine, which I happen to know happens to be this guy right here. And so if you right click on it, you're going to notice that There's not a whole lot of information that it gives us. The nice thing with Armitage is there's some auto features built in. For example, there's this attack option. I want to find attacks. What will happen is it will actually scan through each machine and it'll load the appropriate attacks for that machine. And once it's done, it should give me the attack menu. And what it's saying is when I right click on any of the new nodes up here, I'll get an attack menu. And again, since I'm targeting my Windows XP machine, I'm going to be looking at that guy. Notice I now have an attack option. And so we have our different options to choose from. We can check exploits to see if that exploit may work. I specifically want to do an SMB exploit. I'm not sure which one is going to work, so I'm going to check all exploits. And with this, you got to be a little bit patient. It will start the check, and it will go through every one of these. And the nice thing is, what we're looking for. Is this green plus, which means this machine is actually uh, vulnerable to this exploit. And if you look through the rest of them, they're not showing that they really are. So with that said, we're going to be doing the ms08 underscore 067 net API exploits. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on it, attack. SMB, and we're actually going to launch this attack. Here we get our option screen. Always try to use a recursive connection if possible. Here are some target options. If we need advanced features, we can do that as well. 
and here's just our basic overview. If you want to read through what this vulnerability does, it's right there. And it's this module exploits a parsing flaw in the path in the video code of the net API 32.ell to the server service console. And you can read the rest of it. The important part is this is one vulnerability that may allow us to gain access to this machine. And to launch it, just click launch. And from there, we be patient. It will actually set everything for us. And if we truly gain access, you should see lightning bolts around it. And it did show that we have connection. So how we can verify that is by right clicking. And now we have a met metaterpreter shell or metaterpreter uh, access. So what we can do there is once we have this option, we can uh, play with it. We can kind of see what we can do. So like interact. I want to see if I can do a virtual BNC desktop. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So that didn't quite work. Let's see if I can see the screenshot of it. What's currently on the dis display. And lo and behold, that is what is currently being displayed. Now let's go ahead and let's verify that. So all I did was I navigated to my XQ machine so, and I'm sitting at my desktop. I'm going to go back to Cowling and again you can s refresh and you can see the desktop. What else can I do? Metaterpreter? Can I interact with something? Oh, let's see if I can open up a command shell. And lo and behold I can. Now, can we verify that? How do we know this is really that machine? So let's go ahead and change directory to see. Ooh, you know what? It's been a little while since I've had to do my command lines. So let's try to change directories. I want documents. Ooh, yeah, there's spaces involved, so doc units and settings. Mystery ready to work. That happens to be the user desktop now I want to make make a directory and I want to call it test oh mkdir test so let's go ahead let's hop over our screenshot You'll notice there is our directory that we just created. So you know we had access to it. Play with this. Learn what you can do because not every tool is going to uh, work very well. So spend a minute or two actually going through each of these options. Webcam shot is always a good one. Uh, this machine doesn't have a webcam, so don't get any options for that. But the more you play with this, the better you learn.